Hello, my ADHD kitties. Do you know what inequalities are? You do if you can remember back to when monsters ate the bigger number. Yes, it's greater than, less than, greater than or equal to. You get the idea. Now it's time to bring things forward to algebra. Some rules are the same, some are different. Come on, check it out. Looks familiar. X minus 2 is greater than 4. And the reason why it looks familiar is if you put an equal sign in there, it's a one-step equation. So all we're going to do is follow the same process that we've used in the past. So you've got an X minus 2 over here, and on the right side you have the 4. So what I want you to do is I want you to circle the X, and then that is what you don't touch. The opposite is what we're looking for. So what is the opposite of negative 2? Positive 2. What you do to the left side, you also do to the right side. Hopefully this is looking familiar. The 2's cancel out. That leaves you with an X. And 4 plus 2 is 6. Now, the one thing that's different is instead of having the equal sign, you have the greater than sign. And that's it. X is greater than 6. So what you're looking at basically is doing one step equation and then keeping that either greater than sign, less than sign, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. You get the idea. Let's do another one. I'll show you. Oh no, it's a fraction. X over 3 is less than or equal to 7. So the process remains the same. You're going to draw that vertical line to separate the left side from the right side. And if you look at this fraction, it is the same thing as division. So what is the opposite of division? Hopefully you know that it's multiplication. So I'm going to multiply the left side by 3 and the right side by 3. The 3's cancel out. That leaves the x. 7 times 3 is 21. If you don't know that, check it out on your calculator. And then the last step is that you're going to bring down the less than or equal to sign. So x is less than or equal to 21. Let's keep going. So the trick on this one is being able to figure out what operation this is. And this operation, when you have the 6 and the x together, is multiplication. So what's the opposite of multiplication? division. So divide the left side by 6, divide the right side by 6. The 6's cancel out. 30 divided by 6, grab your calculator. One step left, so x is less than 5. If you notice, this time I did not draw the vertical line, and that can be your choice at this point, but make sure that what you're doing to the left side, you're also doing to the right side. Well, this is the last one, and you know what that means. You got to do it on your own. Take your time and use your calculator when it comes to working on those integers.
and that's it. X is greater than or equal to two. That's it. A quick lesson on solving one-step inequalities. There are two-step inequalities too. The process is similar, but not the same, like most of algebra. Hang in there, one step at a time. One step, get it? Oh well, math humor isn't for everyone. Don't worry, I'll stop. And remember, Edie loves math, even if you don't. Ciao.